all these little lime green drosseros, there's a massive patch of them here. They're just everywhere. In fact, they're sort of right where the track around the paddock is. We're just driving over the poor little things. They're obviously very hardy because this is this land was cleared so long ago and it's still a paddock this particular bit. You can see why they're called sun dews. Look at all the dewy ends on those little fronds. They look so pretty, but not for the poor insects that they trap and digest. Here's one with a very definite little bud. That's cute. everywhere so lovely and here's another stylidium and it's got a little bit of drosera to keep it company there's quite a bit of drosera around here you can see just this is an old firebreak area and if you get closer you can just see there's drosera everywhere in the gravel tiny little things they are and they're just dotted everywhere. It's lovely to see how resilient they are in the face of cleared land. I've just found some more Drosera sun dews, the little rosetti leaved things. And this one, its leaf sort of attached to a gum nut. It's very strongly attached there. And here's Another Drosera, the climbing ones, all in bud. Lovely. And over here are the Drosera. These look different again to the Rosetti ones I was just looking at. They're quite red and they're a little less the shape of the rosette looks different. Oh, I've just been walking up the hill. It's such a good workout. It's quite a hill. Um, and just as I'm walking up, there's a lot of moss on the ground, which I love. And look at these little drossera. They're just scattered around. Just so cute. They'll be flowering. I think they're buds, maybe. Um, I 
think they've got an orange flower, these ones. They're just dotted everywhere. Cute. Just making my way up to the granite again. I'm going to look for the little native fern that has survived here. It's looking back down to the dam. So here I am on a different part of the property and these little lime green drosera are appearing again. There's a lot of them around here. And there's also a lot of the little red coloured ones too. In fact, the little red leafed ones, I'm not sure which which, but I've got two different species that are red leaved. And so both of them, I think, have orange flowers. Or maybe one has pink and one has orange. And then maybe the lime green one has orange flowers as well. But they're just so pretty in flower. And there's one over here that's got its little buds. You can see it there. So they'll be putting on a nice show soon. They're just like little jewels on the ground when they're all in flower. They're just exquisite little things. And they're so tiny. And right down on the ground here, if you just look a little bit further down, you can see these little drosera. Little pygmy ones, I think they might be referred to as. And they have gorgeous flowers on, but I think we're a bit early for the flowering at the moment. They're just everywhere. And it's so nice to see these all coming back on cleared land. So I've just found more Drosera in here and they look different. They kind of got the lime green look but they've got sort of a orangey ends. I don't know that I've even seen these ones before. And the bud looks different to the ones I was just pointing out earlier. I think I've found another species. I reckon that's four little pygmy, at least four now that I have found. So that's very exciting. I'm gonna come back on the next visit. I'll come back and see if they're in flower. How lovely.